Hello there Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria, this is Radiant Moon Tarot. We are having a look at January 2024 and this is your money and career reading. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. Always grateful for each and every one of you. As I said, this reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. So Capricorn, we do have Finally, towards the end of January 20th, 21st, um, we do have Pluto leaving your sign. Okay, so you might start to feel towards the end of the month a little bit lighter and brighter, maybe a little bit more positive about the future, about what is in store for you, but you may have some things coming to fruition or coming to an end. And this can just be um, a very important decision that you're making in regards to your finances or perhaps your career path. So um, Pluto does bring about endings, new beginnings, deaths, births, rebirths, transformation, change, um, and evolution. But it also brings power. So this can be where you're reclaiming your personal power in some way. So a great opportunity there for you to chase away the cobwebs and to embrace uh, some wonderful new beginnings or some improvements, thank goodness, in your world there as well. The King of Wands is at the back of the deck here for you, and the King of Wands can represent an element of success, successful undertakings, right? And it's because of your energy, your drive, your determination that you've gotten things done. The King of Wands is a leadership air energy, very charismatic. Um, and so there could be something here that you've been really passionate about that you've been trying to get accomplished, get finished. And here you are um, right on the doorstep of success here with this. Now, the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck can also represent a underlying influence. So there may be somebody that you look up to, someone who um, uh, is gives you a little bit of motivation. Maybe there's someone who gives you some advice um, or maybe you just, you know, kind of I don't really want to use the word admire, right? Because when we admire people, we quite often put them on a pedestal and then people inevitably fall off, you know, all that kind of stuff. But sometimes we can kind of look up to somebody and, you know, we can take tidbits of inspiration from them. Right. It's like they motivate us to be better, or to do something different um, than we normally would. Right. And the king of wands would be that kind of person. So this can be someone you partner up with, someone that new that you meet in your world. And this can also be someone, again, that kind of you do get a little bit of motivation from. But this can also be your energy, very large, very in charge, and you're ready to make some big power moves. Now, we do have an energy of anxiety coming in here. Now, this can certainly be because of that Pluto energy, right? Because well, you're feeling it, right? It's packing a punch. And so, but the anxiety energy can just also show that there might be something that you're kind of worried about. And sometimes we get anxious when we know we have some, we have to do something, when we have to change something. We get anxious sometimes when we know we need to have an important conversation or need to make some important decisions, right? So, um, or if we're even embarking on something new and exciting, we do sometimes get a little bit, uh, a little bit nervous. Um, about what is going to happen, what's going to transpire. So there might be something here that you do need to address that you need to work through in the month ahead. Now it can be as well because you know, it's, uh, whew, man, it's a dog eat dog world out there. And there's a lot of uh, whew, crazy, crazy things going on with the economy. Um, you know, things are very expensive, um, depends where you are, depends on the circumstances around you. But I know where I am and, um, and any of the places, uh, not even close to me, but like, um, in the same a continent, really, um, there's, you know, groceries, the cost of them has skyrocketed, right? The price of gas for your car, the price of electricity is going up. It's like everything is going up um, and our paychecks aren't necessarily. So this could be where, you know, you are a little bit worried about your money, your finances, how much you're putting out, how much you're getting back in. And so the thing is here with this energy is um, not to downplay anyone that does feel anxiety. I've got a couple of friends that, um, you know, that, that, do and when they're having like this panic attack or this experiencing this massive dose of anxiety for things, right? It's like they know logically that, you know, it's a useless energy and they can't do anything about it when they're in that state. And they know logically that the best thing to do to get out of that is to take some action, right? Is to, you know, to take back power, take back control. 
but it's not always easy to do in the thick of things, is it? So work through some anxieties, work through some fears, work through some doubts, right? But remember this King of Wands energy is about you, who you are, and this is all about your confidence and your ability to power through um, anything that is causing you a little bit of grief. Call on Archangel Raphael, though, with your fourth chakra, your heart chakra. Okay, Archangel Raphael can help you um, to heal a situation or heal from a situation. When we are opening our heart, our heart is our, really is our life force, right? Love, creativity, joy, happiness, kindness, compassion, all of these things come from the heart. So some of you here, you may need to make some changes because ultimately there's something that you want to do and you want to follow your heart. But it's fraught with a little bit of anxiety because we don't always know what that's going to look like, right? If I follow my heart, if I follow my dreams, um, is this really going to come to fruition for me? Is it really going to work out for me? Am I going to be successful? Am I going to be able to afford to put a roof over my head? So it can be a little bit challenging sometimes. But Archangel Raphael is here to help you to open your heart so that you can receive some blessings, but also so that you can see the potential, that you can heal from situation, and that you can make things a little bit better. So there's a lot of magic in the air when we do get Archangel Raphael, very beautiful, very loving energy. So we'll work with Archangel Raphael in the month ahead. We've got the Seven of Pentacles here for you. This is energy coming in for you. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is an energy of contemplation, of assessment, possibly even of a strategy. Now, this can be, thank you, this can be a card of abundance, right? Um, it can be a card of harvest because we're looking at that bush and we're looking at all the pentacles that have grown on that bush. And, you know, we're like, huh, okay, maybe now is the time to cash out, right? So this can be that there's something coming to harvest for you here in that energy. But this can also represent um, you just contemplating where you're at, where you want to be. And, you know, you're trying to figure out a plan for the future. Not so surprising in the month of January, right? A lot of people do that at this time of year. And so you might just really be taking the time to assess your current situation and figure out, you know, am I on the right track? Is my money in the right place? Do I need to do something different? And when we get the seven of pentacles, this can show that, you know, if you're not where you want to be, or you don't have what it is you want, or you're not feeling in that energy of stability, security or if you're just unsure about something there might be something different that you can do we can quite often take an alternate approach um, at our money or at how we make our money right so a little bit of an alternative plan or a little change of plans may not necessarily be so bad for you with that we have the chariot card coming out here and this is cancerian energy but the chariot card shows things coming into alignment for you okay this is your masculine and your feminine coming in here your yin and your yang okay this is your spiritual body with your physical body and when things come into harvest or sorry come into alignment for you come into harmony is what I meant to say this is where things really start to move and shake and happen for us in the best of ways so the chariot energy is an energy of moving forward on a successful venture successful journey the stars are aligning for you um, everything is falling into place and the thing is is all of this you're headed in the right direction around you're on the path to success because of the actions that you take because of your ability to see your way past a problem and not let it derail you when we get the chariot whatever life happens to throw your way right remember challenges and obstacles everything always happens for us never to us when we say that things happen to us what do we do we give our power away and what does that put us in anxiety and worry right so by your own personal power by your own action your ability to do things your ability to make change or make the right moves your ability to really um you know um power through and overcome anything um that has you know kind of caused some slowdowns or delays boom you are here you're large you're in charge of control and there is success on the horizon for you so this is an opportunity for you to make a move 
All right, and make an important one as well with this energy. Now, with the chariot card on a very practical, mundane level, okay, the chariot card can represent a vehicle of some kind. And with the seven of pentacles there, you might be considering spending some money. Can I afford it? Do I want to take money out of my savings? Do I need to take a loan? But if you need a car for work, right, um, you know, or if you're contemplating moving to another city or something like that, or, you know, um, turning, you know, um, a short commute into a longer one and maybe you need a better vehicle to get there this can be your path to success so um you know sometimes people do limit themselves and limit their options based on where they live based on where they're going to work right and while quite often that is very practical right not everyone can afford to buy a, buy a car and that kind of thing and sometimes we take the bus and you know we take it you know quite a long distance right i used to take the bus a very long distance you'd take me like two and a half hours to get to work and um you know and then of course you know i've built upon one th one success after another and finally you know managed to you know get the car and get the insurance and all that kind of stuff and kind of opens up the world a little bit so some of you might be buying a car you might be um contemplating um making a change in your job where maybe you have to travel for work um, because the chariot card can be one of travel but this shows that this is something that maybe you're destined to do or something that you've manifested into your world so it can be really quite positive there for you but whatever your situation is Think about what you want. Be open to a different approach, right? Open heart. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, you just might find what you're looking for. We have the Six of Cups coming in here for you as well. And the Six of Cups here um, is in your blessings. So this is the energy benefiting you the most. Some of you might have a second chance at something. And let me tell you, the Six of Cups has come up quite a few times in these um, money and career readings. So sometimes we do get a second chance or we do have a second look at something that maybe we we had dismissed earlier, whether it's an investment opportunity, whether it's a job, whether it's a company or something like that, right? Um, whatever it is, you might have that second shot, that second chance. This might also represent that you might bump into a person. Maybe they're a Cancerian person or someone who has cancer in their chart. Maybe they're the King of Wands person here. But when you bump into them, it's a benefit to you in some way. Perhaps it just snaps you out of a rut. Right. Especially if you see someone and you're like, wow, I used to be, you know, above you and now you're, you know, all this all successful and everything. Right. Um, they might have an opportunity for you. Right. If it's an old friend, you just never know what doors may open. So this can be really positive because the six of cups, sometimes we do get a gift. Right. Something is offered to us in this. And it's usually something quite pleasant in that, especially when this is in your blessings position. But the six of cups really ha does have us focused on the present in the here and now we are present in our energy and that is really important right because um the past is the past we can't change it right we can learn from it we can gain knowledge and wisdom from it gain experience from it but we can't change it what's done is done right we can't always predict the future we can see what energies are coming in we can you know um have a look and see the possibilities but the future is forever in motion and by your actions by your free will and that of others as well it can change things around right it's forever um forever in motion right as in the words of yoda so it's important to be active and present in the here in the now in today because the decisions the actions that we make today affect our tomorrow right so a lot of you are focused focused on the here and now. What can I do today to better my career opportunities tomorrow? What can I do today to bring myself more money and financial prosperity tomorrow? So you might be contemplating and making some big, um, big decisions here in regards to your money or how you make it or even how you spend it um, right at this time and not again, not surprising for January. But the Six of Cups can bring about a little bit of nostalgia, but you know, sometimes you can revive a goal or a dream with this energy but this does speak to your inner child um, as well and so we do need to remember to feed our inner child and have a little bit of fun so maybe there's some light-hearted jovial energy that's coming in here for you for January um, you're reaping what you've sown and this is a very positive thing so you might decide to spend a little bit of money on yourself we've got the seven of pentacles yet again 
the seven of pentacles twice in a reading. Whenever we get repeating cards in a reading, now don't forget these are two different decks, two different positions, and I'm pretty sure that you've been seeing my cards the whole time. But this, whenever we do get repeating cards in a reading, this is like a massive exclamation mark from the universe saying, please pay attention. Okay, attention to detail. Take your time. Have a look at your opportunities. Have a look at, you know, how long something has been blossoming in your world. Have a look at your future and the possibilities. Be willing to do something a little bit different if you feel drawn in that direction, right? This can be a time of harvest for you when things are blossoming and things are growing in your life. But sometimes we, our goals, our sights are set on the 10 of pentacles and we're here at the seven. So what can you do to make that into a 10? Maybe we need to take a different approach. Maybe we need to get a little creative. Maybe we need to make a little bit of change. Whatever that is, strategy is key. Okay, strategy and maybe even a practical plan. And that's really right in your wheelhouse, isn't it? Right. Because we are heading into Pluto and Aquarius season, right? Endings, changes, transformations, all of those things. But it's very quick, quicker energy than what we've been used to, because, um, you know, when Pluto's in your sign, it tends to be a little bit slow, right? There's some heaviness to it. And we quite often have some life lessons that we learn when that's in there, right? Um, with Saturn being the ruler. But, um, you know, so we're heading into a time when things may happen a little bit quicker. Things may feel a little bit lighter and brighter, but you may get more clarity with things in the future and it's easier to make a decision. All right. So keep an open heart, keep an open mind, and you just never know what you might find. We've got the King of Swords here. Now this is in your challenge position. Okay. Now usually the King of Swords is your energy, right? This is clarity and a sense of purpose. So perhaps you're trying to figure out why am I here? What am I meant to do? What am I meant to experience? Am I on the right track? Am I not? This can also be where you're a little bit confused or doubtful about something in the King of Swords energy. So maybe you do need to ask some questions or you need to do a little bit of research. There might be some things that you're not aware of, right? So you might need to ask some questions. Now, if you are making a big purchase of any kind, there might be some negotiation that's necessary there. And, you know, maybe you do find a little bit of a challenge negotiating for things, right? Because the King of Swords um, would be a shrewd negotiator, someone who's very quick on the ball with legalities and all of that kind of stuff, right? and the fine print and everything and maybe that's not your wheelhouse always so there could possibly be somebody remember we've got the king of wands at the back of the deck there there could be somebody in your world that you might need to ask for help or guidance from maybe a little bit of advice they might be more knowledgeable than you or maybe they're a really good wheeler and dealer all right if you do want to go on a job interview or anything like that there's a little bit of element there with the um with this being a challenge there's a little bit of an element of believing in yourself or being confident or knowing what you want to say. And maybe you're just not really good at going into interviews or selling yourself um, in this energy. But, you know, but I feel here that in this energy, you'll work through it. Take your time. Practice, right? Practice having an interview, right? Have a friend. Uh, have a friend, um, you know, sit across the table and be, you know, uh, you know, uh, some hard nosed interviewer, right? And ask you some hard hitting questions kind of thing. We don't, we often, hopefully, don't get a lot of practice um, in interviews, right? So, you know, hopefully it's uh, from a lot of people is every couple of years or so, right? Unless you're just starting out and then it might be more frequent. So it's not like we're all, you know, perfect at giving the perfect interview. So you might want to do some preparation there for yourself as well. Um, if you have to give any kind of presentations or anything like that in your workplace, that can also be a little bit of a challenge for you. And it just might be that you're not used to being in front of people or, you know, again, maybe a little lack of self-confidence sometimes there. Not everyone is good at public speaking, but you could also have communication issues with a, with a person as well. And especially if you've got like a significant other um, and in regards to your money, we need to have important chats about our finances sometimes it's not always the most comfortable conversation to have um, but there may be something here that you need to work through um, we have the ten of wands here as well so maybe you need to put up some boundaries all right the ten of wands does show stress and burdens those anxieties right um, shows a lot of responsibility and a hefty responsibility but it is an end point 
there with that 10, tens are endings, right? Leading way to new beginnings. So there is a little bit of a shift in an energy here for you, but it is a challenge for you as well, right? So sometimes, you know, when we get the 10 of wands, it's like we've worked really hard to achieve something and to get to a certain milestone, a certain point in our, in our life, in our path with our money. And, you know, we worked really hard, really diligently. We've never given up. We've got to the finish line, right? But it's like having a monkey on our back sometimes. And so in this energy, you could be very much poised to get that promotion, that raise that you've worked so, so hard and backbreakingly, um, uh, backbreaking, right? Just been a backbreaking challenge for you to get to that point that really didn't come out that well, did it? Anyway, you know what I mean, right? It's like, I'm not giving up. I'm like the little engine that could. And so this can be a really big turning point for you. So it's time, it's time, right? Your time is here. Your time is now, right? And so, you know, you could be leveling up. Maybe you're ready to be the boss or you're ready to be that project leader or you're ready for something a little bit different in your career path, right? Whatever it happens to be, um, it feels as though you're setting yourself up for a more successful future and an easier future in this, right? And maybe even a little bit more exciting if you're lucky. Now the 10 of wands does show also and it does remind us that there's things you need to cut out of your world of your life right in that king of swords we can use the sword to do that and this really does highlight the responsibilities that we take on right do you um, give in do you always say yes when other people ask for help um, is, are you in an equal and balanced workplace right or is the burden of responsibility uh, very much lopsided right are you one of those people who does carry the weight of a whole department on your shoulders and while there's people that skate under the radar right now is the time to set up boundaries because when we get the ten of wands this is a reminder you've taken on so much responsibility responsibility that it's no longer sustainable in some way. It's causing you grief and anxiety, right, in this energy. So it's time to give back some responsibility, whether this is at home or in the workplace, right? It's, you know, there's a, div a divvying up of the workload or the responsibilities that may need to happen here in order for you to get a little bit of elbow space and a little bit of breathing room in this. Okay, so essentially a way of doing things comes to an end because there's a better way. We have the Hierophant here as your advice from spirit. Embrace the knowledge that you have gained, the wisdom that you have gained, because this will serve you well for the future. So I think here, whoopsies, as we go flying away, um, I think here in this energy, I think there's probably going to be some information or some downloads or something coming in here for you where you're going to recognize why certain things have happened, um, why things from your past, Six of Cups, um, have uh, occurred in your life, right? And I think you're going to be getting that wisdom and that insight from that because the Hierophant is an energy of higher level learning of ascension, right? Can be there. So, you know, you may also be, um, seeking out some advice or some wisdom from a higher power. And this can be a spiritual energy, right? We work with Archangel Raphael, but this can also be somebody who is in um, some sort of advising position. The Hierophant is a spirit, very um, religious or spiritual card, right? And it does speak to your belief systems. And so in this energy, this can be where we do seek out someone's, um, you know, someone's ear, Right. We don't necessarily need want advice or someone to tell us what to do, but we want to bounce some ideas off of there or get a little bit of guidance. And in this card, I've got two people seeking out the guidance of that um, wise uh, priest. I think it's supposed to be the Pope on there. So this might be where you do that. The Hierophant does speak to higher level of commitment as well. So this can really be the time for you where spirit is saying it's your time. OK, there's changes that are available for you and you need to believe in yourself, though, believe belief systems, right? Believe in yourself. Do you believe in yourself right now or do you feel um, overworked, overburdened and like there's, you know, no no light at the end of the tunnel? Um, you're encouraged here to really believe in yourself. All right. The Hierophant also is Taurus energy. Taurus is ruled by Venus. And this does speak to your resources, your ability to find the resources that you need at the right place at the right time. But again, with two seven of pentacles here, we sometimes do need to take a different approach. Um, and this can be also where you are breaking down 
old systems, old belief systems. Because when we get the Hierophant, there's things that we know, there's things that we've learned, there's things that we've been taught, things that we believe in, right? Our own personal values. But sometimes we need to shake things up a little bit. So this can be where you might challenge the status quo. You've got your personal power, right, coming in here for you. So um, by challenging the status quo or embracing your personal power, you can do things that are right for you. You do have a bit of a spiritual awakening here with the Page of Cups. So Spirit's really wanting you to listen to your intuition, listen to your higher self, engage in a little bit of meditation, um, really ask for help from your angels, spirits, and guides, especially Archangel Raphael coming in there for you. Heart, heart chakra energy, page of cups, heart chakra energy. Okay, so the page of cups can represent that um, you're, uh, you're experiencing, you're going to experience a little bit of a shift in your um in your spiritual energy or how you see things. This can speak to new opportunities um, aligning for you with the Page of Cups, some things that's kind of a little bit more fun, um, things that uh, kind of spark your interest a little bit, maybe something a little bit more creative or a little bit more satisfactory than what you've been doing. So there's a little bit more of a lighthearted energy that's um, available to you. But be aware of your surroundings and be open to things here as well, because often with the Page of Cups, we get some really good news and it catches us off guard. It's a little bit of a surprise that may come in here for you, but it's jovial, it's fun, it's happy. It's just something that was maybe a little bit unexpected, and whether it's something from your past where it's a second chance at something, or maybe you discover something here, right? There's the Seven of Pentacles. We've got this pentacle that's right between this guy's feet, but he ain't looking at it. So some Sometimes we do need to take an alternate approach or look for alternate opportunities or just keep that open mind. And you just never know what may transpire for you, whether you're dealing with people, whether it's something about where to put your money, where to invest in your money, right, or where it is you work, right, it can all be very important for you. But expect the unexpected, perhaps. We've got the temperance card here as well. It's as beautiful as your guardian angel. It can be Archangel Raphael um, possibly coming in here to help you heal. Um, to help guide you, help protect you. When we get the temperance card, this is Sagittarian energy coming in here. And um, so this can represent some um, forgiveness and healing. Uh, spiritual alchemy comes in here as well. Okay. And it's one of moderation as well. So, you know, we don't need to do everything all at once. Sometimes we feel the pressure. We feel like we have to get everything done today, right? The pressure that 10 of wands. Remember, sometimes we need to take things one step at a time, one day at a time. We don't always need to accomplish everything right in the moment, right here, right now, right? When we break off our goals into smaller, more achievable bits and pieces, things do feel a little bit easier and we get more rewards, right? When we do that, right? I mean, think about if you're, um, you know, maybe you want to, I need to save $10,000. Well, 10,000 is a big number, right? But if you say, okay, I'm going to do it a hundred dollar increments this week, I'm going to save a hundred dollars next week. I'm going to save another hundred dollars. And when we're biting off that smaller amount, we still have the big goal in mind, right? But we're knocking it off in little pieces and then we can celebrate our milestones, celebrate our successes. So everything in moderation can really help you. But there is a healing, there's a calm of peace um, that's coming over you in this energy. Whew, we need that after we get the 10 of wands, that's for sure. But this is also one of guidance, right? So the guardian angels, your spirits, your guides, your soul tribe, right? Um, all that there is helping you um, on your journey. Journey. So really connect with them. Watch for signs because you'll probably get some. I mean, we do have three sevens coming out right here. Seven of Pentacles, the chariot number seven and the seven of Pentacles again. So triple seven. So if, if seven is your lucky number, you got three of them here, boom, boom, jackpot, baby. Okay, so this could be a really great jackpot for you, some turning point, a little bit of a luck on your side. But seven does tend to be a quite spiritual number as well. Okay, and this can be have to do with you believing in yourself. This can be have to do with you taming your anxieties, your fears. Temperance card will help you do that as well. And believing in yourself and being a little bit more confident. We've got the Knight of, of Swords here as well. 
inaction leads to action, right? So we start off your month probably a little bit slow, um, but in this energy, right, your strategy may pay off and your ability to look at your information and figure out what it is you want or what it is the right moves for you. And then boom, the Knight of Swords, there you go, taking action, moving forward, um, being very decisive in this energy. So um, great stuff there for you. But the Knight of Swords can also bring messages bring news, bring information to you, and it's very exciting, okay, but it might may very much require you to, to do something with it, okay, it's not just, you know, a letter in your mailbox, oh yeah, that's nice, it's like, here, right, we got to respond, we got to do something, this is exciting, this is great energy, so you might have some very exciting news coming in here for you, love it the bottom of the deck we've got the fool card coming in so the fool does represent a sense of excitement um a sense of um new beginnings right the fool does represent a new beginning the start of a journey or the start of a next step in your journey forward your foot loose your fancy free you got a little bit of a pep in your step the page of cups by the way with your advice from spirit is to have a little bit of fun okay and just like the six of cups there so perhaps in the fool with the fool we can have some fun too so perhaps there's opportunity needs to do something nice for yourself, do something that excites you, brings you pleasure and joy, but also something that is fun, right? Go out and have an adventure if you can, right? Sometimes that's a great way to chase away some anxieties and some worries. And we do need to take that little time to replenish our energy. But with the fool card here, you may be something opening up here for you for your future, but you got to take the leap. You got to jump right in with both feet. Okay, so um, get excited about that. The fool can be one of a companionship as well. So again, you may um, partner up with a friend. Maybe you go on an adventure with a friend or you bump into an old friend or colleague. Um, it may really open some doors for you there. But whatever it is, trust yourself and keep the faith. All right. So let's see what else we've got for you. We've got deservingness. You are a beloved child of spirit, God, universe, like everyone else, and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus on your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that the universe and the angels can see how truly amazing you are. Remember, you deserve everything. You deserve success and abundance and prosperity and things that make you happy. We have declutter here as well. Hello, Ten of Wands, okay? You'll feel better and more focused if you'll take the time to clear away the clutter from your living and workspace. Donate what you can to help others who may need your items. Be sure to keep your schedule uncluttered as well, right? And what did we say about this Ten of Wands, right? There's too much on your plate. You're overburdened. You're overworked. Too much responsibility. You've got to put up boundaries and say no. In essence, declutter. All right. So I'm going to leave all that there for you, Cappy. I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level. If there was, please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up here, press that like button. And if you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. All free for you. It doesn't cost you a single penny, but it really does help me out. Also, um, leave a comment in the box down below. Say hello. Where are you watching from? Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful year ahead. By the way, your 2024 forecast are all posted for you. I'll leave the link in the description box down below as well as in the comments, I think, there as well. So I thank you guys. I hope you have a wonderful January and I'll see you later. Bye.